Welcome to UAM graduates. I'm Crystal Halley, the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, and I'd like to take a moment to congratulate each of you for completing your credentials. We are happy to have found a way to celebrate each of you through a formal commencement ceremony. But since we could not host an in-person rehearsal, we thought we'd spend some time with you today taking you through the facilities we'll use to line you up the day of the ceremony, as well as some of the markings and symbols we'll use to guide you through the ceremony itself. Hi, my name is Sylvia Miller and I'm the University Registrar here at UAM. I will be providing graduates with their Herald card, which denotates honor students and regular graduates. Honor students will have a gold card and other graduates will have a white card with your name. Please feel free to fill out the back of the Herald card prior to arriving to graduation. Once you arrive, I will assist you with lining up by school. Also, if you need to contact me for questions regarding graduation, your name as it should appear on your diploma or address to mail your diploma, then contact me at millersm at uamont.edu. Thank you. To pick up your cap and gown, as well as your Herald card, please visit the Monticello Bookstore beginning Monday, May 3rd through Friday, May 7th. If you're picking up on the 7th, please do so by 9 a.m. First-generation college graduates will receive a first-generation lapel pin from UAM. If you are the first in your family to graduate from college, please tell the bookstore when you pick up your regalia. Honor students will be given a yellow Herald card that designates the honors category. If you think you should be recognized as an honor student and you do not receive a yellow card when you pick up your regalia, please contact the registrar's office at 870-460-1034 before Friday, May 7th. Hello, I'm Dr. Rob Ficklin. I'm a professor in the College of Forestry, Agriculture, and Natural Resources. I'll also be the commencement herald for uh, your ceremony next Friday. Uh, part of my job is to read your name and to announce you to everybody that's in the audience. As part of that, I want to do everything I can to get your name pronounced correctly. So when you get your herald card, please uh, write out how your name sounds on the back of the card. Uh, for example, if your name is Sierra, uh, you might write C S E E hyphen A I R hyphen U H C era. Uh, that will help me make sure I get your name right. All right, congratulations. You will be required to show a photo ID to pick up your Herald card. Once you do, fill out the back of the card and bring it with you to the ceremony. Contact the bookstore for more information. Graduate students, as you're walking into the stadium, you'll carry your hood over your right arm like this. When it's time to hood yourself, you'll see me give this signal to stand and this signal to put on your hood. The way to hood yourself is to take your hood velvet side out, slide it over your head so that the velvet is showing and the color is underneath. After you've hooded yourself, you can walk up to the stage and receive your diploma cover. You can be seated as soon as you arrive back at your seat. Graduates will line up in the Judy and Jack Laster indoor practice facility. Upon arrival, you will be screened for COVID-19 symptoms. You will also be required to wear a face covering for the entire ceremony. When wearing your academic regalia, tassels are to be worn on the right front quarter of the mortarboard and remain on the right until the Chancellor instructs you as a group to move your tassel to the left. 
men should remove their mortarboard during the invocation and the national anthem. For the processional, the faculty will enter first, then master's degrees, then by the school and college. Once inside the indoor practice facility, graduates will line up according to their school and are asked to remain six feet apart until the processional begins. Once the processional does begin, proceed onto the field as directed. Follow the arrows on the ground. You will enter the field one at a time and walk down the track along the visitor's side. Please allow room for physical distancing between you and the person in front of you. The marshal will direct you to the appropriate row for seating. Chairs will be placed along the field. Seating will be spaced out to observe physical distancing. Fill every chair. Do not leave any chair empty. Follow the arrows once your row is called to stand. You will reach a sign that says stop for the herald. While stopped here, your name will be called. Once called, you will proceed in front of the stage to receive your diploma cover. Please follow the arrows. If you are a master's level graduate, you will stand, watch for the marshal to direct you to put on your master's hood, and then proceed to the herald. Please watch for directions from the marshal regarding when to sit and when to stand. You will stand as a row. You will walk to the south side, which is also the home side, to the herald, and hand the herald's assistant your name card. Do not proceed until your name is called. Once your name is called, proceed to pick up a diploma cover from the table in front of the stage. If you're the first in your line for your school, you will be given a card with your school's name. You will give the Herald's assistant this card, then your name card. Due to COVID-19 safety measures, you will not stop to shake any person's hand. Once you pick up your diploma cover from the table, you will proceed in front of the stage to the photographer. The university will provide you with one 5x7 keepsake photograph of you holding your diploma. Do not get out of your original line order for your photograph. Once you reach the photographer, you may remove your mask to take your photo. Once photographed, continue following the arrows on the visitor's side of the track to return back to your seat. You may be seated once you reach your seat. The Chancellor will instruct you as a group when to move your tassel to the left. Once the ceremony is over, you will leave the stadium after the faculty by coming to the home side and exiting through the west. Please remember physical distancing guidelines and do not make plans to meet your family inside of the stadium. You will need to completely exit the facility. We encourage you not to congregate in groups on campus. Please make sure the registrar's office has your most current address on file to mail your diploma and your photograph. Your certificate and photograph should arrive mid to late June. Please monitor your email closely for commencement updates. In the event that the commencement location is moved to Stillman Fieldhouse, you will be sent an email and a rave alert.